Welcome students. Now we will discuss about module 12 for the program second year BS Agriculture Honours for subject Agricultural Engineering for third semester. The course code is COMP231 and the title of the course is Agri Informatics. The name of the module is Database, Concepts and Types, Uses of DBMS, Oblique RDBMS in Agriculture. I am Mr. Vinod Adkari, Assistant Professor Don Bosco College of Agriculture, Sulkorna, Goa. The outline of this module is DBMS and their examples, drawbacks of file system, need of DBMS, components of DBMS, building blocks of DBMS, advantages and disadvantages of DBMS and various application of DBMS in different fields. So at the end of this module, students will able to learn about Everything about DBMS, what is database management system, their types, their advantages, their need, different components of DBMS, everything. So, DBMS means database management system. We can define DBMS is a collection of data and set of programs to access and store those data in a, in easy and efficient manner. So, DBMS is a software which is used to manage database. For example, Microsoft Access, Oracle, MySQL, FileMaker are the example of this DBMS software which is commercially used. Then what is mean by data? Data means unprocessed information. And what is mean by information? It is data that have been organized and communicated in a meaningful manner. So we can uh, say like data will generate information, it will generate knowledge which leads to the action. So, previously data is stored in the file system, but there are many drawbacks of this file system uh, data storage. So, there is data uh, redundancy and inconsistency, duplication of the data in different files and multiple file format is there, difficulty in accessing data, so needs to write a new program to carry out each new task. So, data isolation problem is also there in file system, data security problem is also there, transaction problem from source to destination. So all these drawbacks are overcome in the database management system. So data means uh, DBMS offers solution to all these problems. So what is the need of database management system to keep records of clients, staff, volunteers, etc. To keep records of activities and interventions and to keep sales record, to develop reports, to perform research, so, so many uh, uh, applications are there. So what is the DBMS here? We can just say it is a software like uh, MS Access, Oracle, MySQL and we are uh, adding an application program maybe C, C++, Java. So end user can access, store and try data with the help of this combination. So there are generally two types of DBMS. We can call it is a relational DBMS that is RDBMS. It is uses it uses structured querying language. For example, the MS Access is the RDBMS software or MySQL also. And non-relational DBMS just like uh, Neo4, HBase are the non-relational DBMS software. So, what are the components of this database management system? Here we can say end user or user like a system administrator or programmer is the one component. Next is the software controls the organization, storage, management and retrieval of the data. Like we can say MS Access is a software, Oracle is a software, etc. Next is the hardware, PC to network of components, storage devices, input output devices are the component of this database management system. And last one is the data. So data stored in the DBMS, uh, database management includes numerical data, non-numerical, uh, any type of data, alpha numerical also, logical data, etc. Next is the building blocks of DBMS. We can say three blocks, just like a column in a table are fields. We can say it is a fields. And row in a tables are called the records or tuples. And third one is the tables. So we, we, are, we can discuss here tables in detail. Table contains data. The field component of table are 
First is the field. A field is the smallest data item stored in one particular format. And next is the record. A record is one complete set of related field. The data types supported by database management system are we can put a numeric data like number 1, 2, 3, 4. Ne next is the alphanumeric like letters or digits in combination we can put. Next data type is the date or time uh, data. Next is the logical data we can also put auto numbers that is the unique value we can put. So all these data types can be supported by the DBMS. Next numeric uh, as I uh, say uh, digits instead of numbers we can put uh, uh, in the DBMS software like from 0 to 9. Next is the alphanumeric data uh, which consists of the letters, uh, symbols and numbers. Alphanumeric data may contains number from 0 to 9, alphabets from A to Z either caps or small and special characters like this hash, then dollar, star etc. Next the data, uh, date time. So used to specify the field contains date or time. Then logical data like uh, yes, no or true, false and or like this. Next is the auto number. A unique value generated for each record. It is also accepted by the DBMS. Next is the primary key. It is the field in the table which uniquely identifies that particular record in the field, in table. The primary key cannot have a duplicate value in the table. So it is uh, only uh, unique value you can say. Every table should have a primary key associated with it. So there are so many advantages of this database management system to control data redundancy, data sharing, enforcing integrity constraints in the data type and data uniqueness, restricting unauthorized access. So the security problem uh, is solved here. Data independence C is there. Transaction processing will be fast, providing multiple views of data, providing backup and recovery facilities also. So we can re retrieve our data wherever it is lost. Then efficient data access, then file system, reduce application development time also. So, so many advantages of this DBMS is there. So few disadvantages of database management system are high initial investment in hardware, software and training also. Next, cost of uh, defining and processing data is more here. and Overhead for security, concurrency, control and recovery is the problem. So few disadvantages are there. Next is the application of database management system. So it is uh, used in banking for tracking the transactions. Next is the airline for reservation or scheduling the flights. Next is the in academics in universities for registration of the student, calculation of the grades and making their results it can be used. Sales also for customer product purchase in these activities they can use. Next is the manufacturing in production, inventory, maintenance, orders, supply chain management also DBMS is used. Next human resource management to keep the record of the employee, their salary tracking, their tax reduction, everything can be monitored by using this database management system. Next is the telecommunication sector for storing the record of the calls, monthly bills, recharge, etc. And especially in agriculture, this database management system can be used to maintain the record of crops, different different crops, their uh, inputs like fertilizer, or how much machinery is used, which machinery is uh, utilized there, livestock production. Also, we can use this database management. Here we can keep each record for everything which is uh, as an input uh, in agricultural businesses. So these are the application of database management systems. So these are the references for this module. Thank you.